Hi again, this is Andy, KE4GKP. Welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and lesson 23 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam preparation course. In this lesson, we're going to go over the T7A questions, which cover station radios. The T7A section from the question pool covers questions on receivers, transmitters, and transceivers. And I know this sounds like a lot of fun, but this is probably the most painful section on the entire exam. Um, there's a lot of obscure information, especially if you haven't worked with radios or electronics before. But if you stick with it, you'll be all right. And hopefully, uh, going through this, this lesson will give you a decent chance to nail the question from this section. In the first question, which term describes the ability of a receiver to detect the presence of a signal? The answer is sensitivity. So the, the more sensitive a receiver is, the weaker the signal it can detect. So sensitivity is a pretty good uh, quality in a receiver. So the term that describes the ability of a receiver to detect the presence of a signal is called sensitivity. What is a transceiver? The answer is a unit combining the functions of a transmitter and a receiver. And this makes sense. Trans, transmitter, receiver, receiver. You combine the two and you have a something that will transmit and receive in one box. Now, way back in the day, you used to have to have a separate transmitter and a separate receiver, and you had to switch back and forth as far as use of the antenna. So the transceiver kind of makes that a lot easier. So a transceiver is a unit combining the functions of a transmitter and a receiver into one package. Which of the following is used to convert a radio signal from one frequency to another? All right, in this type of circuit, it's called a mixer. And a mixer will take a received signal and mix it with another signal from an oscillator to produce an intermediate frequency or a third signal. So basically, it'll take the incoming signal from the antenna, it'll have an oscillator that'll be generating a second signal, and when these two signals mix, they will produce a third signal that your receiver will process and produce audio. So these are seen in super heterodyne receivers a lot. So uh, a mixer is a circuit that is used to convert a radio signal from one frequency to another. Which term describes the ability of a receiver to discriminate between multiple signals? The answer is selectivity. So selectivity describes how well a receiver can distinguish between multiple signals. So if you have the, the radio spectrum, there's going to be a lot of people operating on there, and some of them are going to be in pretty close uh, frequency range to each other. So how well a receiver can detect uh, or select a frequency from a, a crowd of signals is selectivity. Not to be confused with sensitivity, selectivity will discriminate between multiple signals. Sensitivity picks up weak signals. What is the name of a circuit that generates a signal of a desired frequency? All right, this circuit is called an oscillator, and these are important to know because basically all radio communications center around oscillators in one shape or form. So an oscillator is a circuit that oscillates, or basically it shoots uh, electricity or energy back and forth between basically an inductor and a capacitor very, very fast. And it does this at a certain set frequency. And then basically you can build other circuits around it to produce radio signals. So an oscillator is a circuit that generates a signal of a desired frequency. What device takes the output of a low-powered 28 megahertz single sideband exciter and produces a 222 megahertz output signal. The device that does this is called a transverter and transverters basically add some functionality to your radio or it gives it a little bit better range. Now what a transverter does it allows your radio to produce a signal at one frequency and then changes it to a, another frequency or usually a higher frequency. So basically in reference to this question what this transverter does is it allows a radio designed to operate a 28 megahertz single sideband to produce a 222 megahertz signal. What is meant by the term PTT? The answer is the push to talk function which switches between receive and transmit. So PTT stands for push to talk and it's essentially the transmit and receive switch on many modern transceivers. So if you have a handheld basically mic there's usually a button associated with that. When you press it you're transmitting and when the button's released the receiver part portion of the transceiver is working. So PTT stands for push to talk and the term means the push to talk function which switches between receive and transmit. Which of the following describes combining speech with an RF carrier signal? Now this process is called modulation. So essentially the way it works is that your microphone will take basically sound waves coming from your voice and turn them into like an electronic form. And from this point they get modulated or combined with an RF carrier signal that's produced by an oscillator. So 
your transmitter will take that and basically produce a radio signal from it. So modulation describes combining speech with an RF carrier signal. Which of the following devices is most useful for VHF weak signal communication? Now the answer on the exam is a multi-mode VHF transceiver. And this is a kind of an odd question that falls into that you need to provide the best answer type of question. The reason is that different modes operate better at lower power than others. For instance, CW is a great mode for weak signal communication, where FM is not. Now, to sort this from the other questions, uh, a quarter length antenna or a quarter length vertical antenna is okay, but for weak signals, the longer the antenna that's tuned to that frequency, the better. The an omnidirectional antenna shoots signals out and receives signals in every direction, so it's not focusing. A directional antenna is a lot better. And a mobile FM transceiver is not a good mode because FM is a lousy weak signal mode. So a multi-mode VHF transceiver is most useful for weak VHF weak signal communication. What device increases the low power output from a handheld transceiver? The answer is an RF power amplifier. And this is one of those questions that you can sort out based on what the, the other possible questions are. What is the output of any transceiver? You're producing RF. And what are you doing if you increase the output? You are amplifying it. So it should be an easy enough question. An RF power amplifier increases the low power output from a handheld transceiver. Where is an RF preamplifier installed? An RF preamplifier is installed between the antenna and the receiver. So when your antenna picks up a radio signal, it's often very, very weak. And in order for it to become a stronger signal, the antenna will pass it through a preamplifier that boosts the signal strength before it reaches the actual receiver. So because it's before the receiver, that's the pre and preamplifier. So this means that the preamplifier must be installed between the antenna and the receiver. So it takes a signal from the antenna, boosts its strength, and then sends that signal to the receiver. So where is an RF preamplifier installed? It's installed between the antenna and the receiver. And that's it for the review, and now it's time for the quiz. So take out a pencil and paper, number 1 through 11. I'm going to go through the questions fast, so pause the video if you need more time. When you're done, be sure to stop by hamwhisper.com, click on the exam answers page, and go to the T7A link and get the answers to the quiz. All right, get ready, and we'll start the quiz. Question 1. Which term describes the ability of a receiver to detect the presence of a signal? A. Linearity B. Sensitivity C. Selectivity or D. Total harmonic distortion Question 2. What is a transceiver? A. A type of antenna switch B. A unit combining the functions of a transmitter and a receiver C. A component in a repeater which filters out unwanted interference or D. A type of antenna matching network Question 3. Which of the following is used to convert a radio signal from one frequency to another? A. Phase splitter B. Mixer C. Inverter or D. Amplifier Question 4. Which term describes the ability of a receiver to discriminate between multiple signals? A. Discrimination ratio B. Sensitivity C. Selectivity or D. Harmonic distortion Question 5. What is the name of a circuit that generates a signal of a desired frequency? A. Reactance modulator B. Product detector C. Low-pass filter or D. Oscillator Question 6. What device takes the output of a low-powered 28 MHz sig single sideband exciter and produces a 222 MHz output signal? A. High-pass filter B. Low-pass filter C. Transverter or D, phase converter. Question 7. What is meant by the term PTT? A, pre-transmission tuning to reduce transmitter harmonic emission. B, precise tone transmissions used to limit repeater access to only certain signals. C, a primary transformer tuner used to match antennas. Or D, the push-to-talk function which switches between receive and transmit. Question 8. Which of the following describes combining speech with an RF carrier signal? A. Impedance matching B. Oscillation C. Modulation or D. Low-pass filtering Question 9. 
Which of the following devices is most useful for VHF weak signal communication? A. A quarter wave vertical antenna. B. A multiple mode VHF transceiver. C. An omnidirectional antenna. Or D. A mobile VHF FM transceiver. Question 10. What device increases the low power output from a handheld transceiver? A. A voltage divider. B. An RF power amplifier. C. An impedance network or D, a voltage regulator. Question 11. Where is an RF preamplifier installed? A, between the antenna and the receiver. B, at the output of the transmitter's power amplifier. C, between a transmitter and antenna tuner. Or D, at the receiver's audio output. And that's it for lesson 23 and the T7A questions. Now that you're done with the quiz, go to handwhisper.com and check your answers. And until next time in Lesson 24, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.